Oh no, the Mayans were right. It's a mini ice age. What am I gonna do? I prepped, am I ready for this? What should I do? I'm gonna go prep a snowboarding! <laughs> to survive the Mayan apocalypse. I don't know who, who predicted it. I think it was the Pikachu clan or something like that from the Pokemon. The Pokemon Pikachu clan said it was gonna be an ice age. So I have to train on my sled. Look out. Go! Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. The Pikachu, we clean that off. Remember, the Pikachu from the Pokemon clan warned us about this. So I hope many of you prepared. I'm doing my part. I'm learning how to sled real good and, you know. All right, preppers, I'll talk to you in a little while. I want to show you this cool little uh, gas, little alcohol stove my buddy Yankee Prepper sent me. Amongst, and, and amongst that, I was about to say, I got the Pikachu on. Whoa, 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 whoa! Anyway, my buddy Yankee sent me some coffee and a cool little uh, alcohol stove I'm going to show you guys. I'll be back. The Pikachu clan! Hey guys, what's up? I'm back. I'm in my dungeon over here, right? Having tons of fun in the snow. If you've seen on the videos, we're getting a lot of snow up here. We got about, I say, about, it's going to be going on two feet up here of snow, and it's, it's awesome. You know, I, with the kids out sled riding, we're having a great time. And plus, I'm training in sled riding because, of the, you know, the mini ice age we're having that the Pikachu uh, people from the Pokemon Nation predicted. There was going to be an ice age, and I think this is a mini ice age we're going through, right? So you should all be prepared. Get out there and practice on your sleds to get around. Anyway, right, uh, like as I show you, I want to show you a couple of things my buddy Yankee Prepper sent me, right? You all know him. If you don't know him, go check out his channel. He's excellent. Yankee Prepper on YouTube, all right? But he sent me some goodies, right? This is, I got to say, he sent, he sent, this is an AeroPress, right? And, uh... You know, I, I'm going to show you coming up because I'm going to take this all out into the snow and, and do a little video on making some coffee out in the elements. All right, but this is the AeroPress. And I say, one thing, Yankee, I got to, you know, this thing, <laughs> believe it or not, this, this AeroPress have replaced every, every way I make coffee. I got like a $700 espresso machine. I got Farberware coffee makers. You name it, I got it to make coffee because of my addiction. Right? But I'm just making coffee with this thing now. It's crazy, right? An AeroPress. It makes coffee excellent. Right? He sent me some more coffee. Right? This one is from uh, Guatemala. Right? But he sent me a couple. He sent me Guatemala. He sent me Kenya. He sent me Nicaragua, Colombian, uh, all different varieties of coffees. This is the second batch he's sending me because I keep on bugging him to send me more. He's just feeding my addiction. Right, but uh, he grinds, he, he roasts the coffee himself, right? He, uh, he buys the coffee and selects the coffee. The guy is a genius. You know, I'm, he's my buddy and everything. I'm not tooting your horn, but the guy is a genius picking out coffee beans. I got to tell you that. And uh, he researches them, and the stuff he's been sending me, I've been grinding it and making uh, my coffee in the uh, AeroPress. It's been out of this world. Like, I, I have company come on over. I give them a cup, and I'm like, here, try this coffee. And they're like, oh, can I take some at home? Can you grind some up for me? No, it's mine. All right, so that's the AeroPress, right, and the coffee. All right, and what else he sent me? He sent me a little alcohol stove he made out of uh, out of uh, soda cans, which is 
I'm really impressed by it. Right, I'll show it to you in a minute. But anyway, this coffee is great. If you want to check out some of his coffee, and I, I'm, I feel proud to be the first one to, to announce this, I guess. But uh, he opened up a website called YankeePrepper.com where he's selling his selected coffees, and you can buy the AeroPress there too. It's a great thing. And I'm not just saying this because we're buddies. I'm telling you, it's super. I'm going to be buying a couple more. I want to keep one in my quad, right, and keep one up here in one of my house. But uh, he sells the coffee, right? They come in green beans. You're going to have to roast it yourself. But uh, check out his website. It's uh, yankeeprepper.com, and, he's, and he, he has all selections of different coffees you could buy, right? He sells the AeroPress, and that, but I think he's adding more stuff to it, right? And... Um, I was busting his chops. He said he's opened up a web page. He didn't announce. I said, "Listen, I'm I'm announcing your web page. I'm being the first one to say it." But anyway, buddy, I can't thank you enough for the coffee. <laughs> Keep it coming, please. Right? But let's move on to his uh, little guess. This thing he sent me, and I opened this up. I said, "Wow!" Right? He has a video on his uh, on his page showing you how to make these little little alcohol stove. Right? And the guy's like a perfectionist. You know, this thing looks it's perfect. You know? And uh, he sent this and he made a little stand that you put the alcohol stove in and all that and you could boil water. And I already made some coffee on this in the house. And I tell you, it boiled water like three minutes. And I was making coffee with it. I was so impressed with it. But I'm going to put it to the test today, Yankee. I'm taking it out in the mini ice age and see if I can make a cup of coffee. So I'm going to jump on my quad and go out there and try to get it. All right. So uh, I'm going to get in the quad. I'm going to go out there and make some coffee right now with it. But anyway, check out his video on how to make these things. And I, I tell you one thing. You're talking about helping people. And if you're prepping and you're done prepping, like I'm pretty much done prepping. I, I you know, you know, I'm still going to show you some things, guys. But as far as what I'm starting to do now is make little prepping boxes, right, for people that might be in need, like I might come across in the case of emergency, that I can hand them a little box, you know, and this thing fits in great with it. You could make it out of soda cans and give them a little uh, alcohol with it, right, put it in a box, of some, some rice, some beans and stuff, and you can hand this to somebody who has the means to cook and, like, to survive a few days and be comfortable for a while, you know, but, uh, that's one of the ideas I'm having. I'm going to be making these little giveaway boxes, and I'll make a video on it and show you what I put together. But I'm going to be making these, and this stuff is going to go in that giveaway box. It's cheap. Old soda cans. A little bit of metal. How can you go wrong? Watch this video. It's really great how he makes them. He shows you how to make them. All right? So anyway, let's get out into the mini ice age and test this thing. And remember, guys, right, check out Yankees' uh his website, yankeeprepper.com, right? If, you want, if you're interested in tasting some really good coffee and you're into roasting and grinding yourself, check it out. You know, it's a great stuff. And I highly recommend the AeroPress, man. You, it, believe me, once you make a cup of coffee with this thing, my $700 machine is getting dust. You know, my wife is mad at me. She goes, are you always using this? You're not even using the old machine. I said, you're right. I really dig this. You just press it down. All right, guys, enough of me yakking away. Let's get out into the mini ice age and make some coffee. Tell you it's cold outside. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my new alcohol stove to make myself a cup of joe, baby. Some coffee, baby! Some coffee! Yeah! Hey! Ho! Oh, Ho! Oh, I didn't see you there! Ho! Oh, oh, Ho! I didn't see you! Oh! Come over here, I'm making a cup of coffee! Oh! Oh, come on! Oh, hurry up! Come over here! We're making a cup of coffee! All right, guys, I got my little stove going. I got my water. I'm going to place it on top of there. It's snowing like crazy. I tell you one thing, getting a lot of snow during this mini ice age. You know? They predict that this ice age is probably going to last maybe to, uh, to the spring, I guess. Here we go, baby. Look at that flame. Look at that. I got my AeroPress all ready to go with my cup. I'm going to put my coffee in there now, get it all ready, because we're going to be getting there soon. Ooh. Nice. Nice. All right, guys, this is the story. I had my stove burning good, my water was just about to boil, and then I knocked my pot over. Right? So now I'm in survival mode. So what I'm doing, I'm putting this thing to a real test. I'm using snow to see how long the snow is going to take to boil so I can make myself a pot of coffee. All right, guys? I'm in survival mode! Nice. Not for nothing. This thing works great. And that was snow. And that's boiling down snow. Wow. I'm telling you guys, super fast. You know, I, I could have even left the camera on watch you guys and it wouldn't have even been boring. And I tell you one thing, it's nice. You can heat, we heat your hands up. I said I got a full roll and boil. Full roll and boil to make myself some espresso. And I still got plenty of steam there. All right, now let me get my arrow press into the picture. I got my coffee in there. I put my couple of scoops of coffee in there, my Kenya. My glasses are fogging up because I'm actually getting heat off this thing. <laughs> wow. I like to put my glove on. It's going to be a nice shot of espresso. Look, and I still got, I could cook some more on this flame, but I'm going to use it to keep me warm. Look at that, it's moving the cup. Look at this thing is still going. Nice. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's espresso from Kenya. I don't know. I hope you guys can see that. Nice. actually even keep it more heated if you want it to you know you can keep your coffee simmering for a while after this too well wow. all right Yankee this is my conclusion all right let me see if I'm getting everything in frame here the gas uh, the alcohol stove 
worked excellent. You see what I did, guys? I put snow in there. The thing is still going. After I made my coffee, I made some nice, a nice shot of espresso from uh, some uh, the coffee that Yankee sent me from Kenya, and it tastes delicious. And I still got enough little more heat to warm my hands up, sit down in the middle of a snowy day, and make myself espresso. Hey, who's better than me? Forget about it. I got this. Nah, look at this. This stays in my quad, Yank. I could thank you. The AeroPress worked out great. Ah, nothing like a nice hot coffee, a cup of espresso in the middle of a snow valley. It's like victory. It smells like victory. I didn't see you guys there. Hey, I'm going back home. I just made some coffee. I'm going to head back home now. Oh. Come on. You scared me. <laughs>